On to talk about the latest extradition battle between district attorneys in New York and Arizona. And I actually see a live court proceeding taking place in Arizona about Rod Almansori, as well, of course, the New York murder suspect arrested in Arizona remained in the state after the DA there, Rachel Mitchell, refused to send him back to the Big Apple. We're going to be joined right now by Fox News uh, correspondent Brian Yes. Brian, thank you so much for joining us here on Live Now from Fox. And what is the the latest with this battle between uh, D.A. Braggs and also D.A. Mitchell. Well, look, let's catch people up in this a little bit, Andy. Rod Almansuri faces seven charges in Arizona, including two attempted first-degree murder charges for stabbing two women nearly to death in Arizona. The 26-year-old fled to Arizona after police say he murdered a mom in a New York City hotel room earlier this month in a separate attack. So there's new police body camera video that captures Almansuri's arrest on Sunday in a parking garage in Scottsdale, Arizona. Almansuri is accused of stabbing a woman during a car jam in Phoenix last week and then the very next day climbing under the door of a bathroom stall in a McDonald's pointing a gun at a female worker and then stabbing her. The New York Police Department which called Alman Suri a quote maniac says that while in custody for those stabbings he told Arizona police that they should google the Soho 54 hotel and this is where the NYPD discovered the body of 38 year old Denise Olias Arencevia. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg wants Al Mansuri to be extradited to face the homicide charges here in New York, but the Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell says no way. Listen. Having observed uh, the treatment of violent criminals in the New York area, I think it's safer to keep him here and keep him in custody. I don't know what's in her head, but what's in her head is not the data and what's not the facts. Well, the Maricopa County Attorney's Office tells me the facts are that they, under Arizona law, can prosecute Alman Suri. They will prosecute Alman Suri. They'll get charges. They'll wait, uh, they'll wait until there is a sentencing. And then after his trial is done and he is sentenced, they will then move to extradite him to New York City, where he will face the charges, potential charges there, and go through sentencing there. At that point, it's up in the air, Andy, about what happens. According to the Maricopa County's office, uh, attorney's office they believe that he will then be flown back to Arizona and have to do his sentence complete his sentence in Arizona and then go to New York to complete a potential sentence there but we're talking about years down the road trials down the road we don't even know if and when this person will be found guilty of these crimes but that's sort of how this process works so you have Rachel Mitchell saying look I'm I'm not gonna put this person out on bail because New York lets violent criminals out but you know the reality is is that the law says that they're gonna have to go through the sentencing and a trial here in Arizona sure. and then she has said herself she'll send him over to New York City here in New York City for a potential trial here for the murder of that 38 year old mom and yeah it's very, very interesting because we've seen a violent streak. We've covered a lot of violent stories uh, out of New York City. Can you talk more about what D.A. Uh, Braggs is saying about this? Because obviously he's putting out some numbers that maybe New York City is safer than Arizona, but certainly you see some of the images and you might disagree with that. Maybe have we heard more from him and can you speak to more of his comments? Well, look, he has continued to defend his office's uh, prosecutorial decision making here. Um, this is a city obviously that since 2019 has been dealing with bail reform. Uh, this is a, a DA here in New York City that was elected on the principles of bail reform in which they stripped cashless bail, they made it easier for people uh, to be freed uh, during the course of their trial. And so he has continuously defended that and he does say that ultimately shootings are down in Manhattan and that is true, that the data does show that shootings have come down compared to last year but at the end of the day the reality is is that in the entirety of New York City there is still a crime problem here you have businesses that feel like they are unsupported there are a lot of uh, repeat offenders here and you've got businesses that say retail theft is up to record numbers and they are scared to do business here and then you know you have a, a just a sense uh, of New Yorkers who feel unsafe so that is going to continue to be and then you've got the uh, undocumented immigrants uh, the illegal immigrants Immigrants here in this in in the city that have been charged uh, with crimes here, um, and they themselves that has been 
put DA Bragg front and center of the crisis here. And that was part of what Rachel Mitchell said. She goes, I don't, you know, those four illegal immigrants that were uh, charged with crimes that were found in Maricopa County because they were allowed to walk out and, and, and freely. So that is the point that she's trying to make. Look, it may be for political points or whatnot. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, Alman Suri will face his charges and sentencing in Maricopa County before he's sent to New York. And we'll see. He is facing a slew of serious charges that can see many, many decades behind bars if he is found guilty. But this is the back and forth, uh, the yeah. small example of the kind of conversation that's happening nationwide about crime. Yeah, a lot of layers to this story as well, certainly overshadowing potentially some of the victims, which is uh, sad to say the least. Uh, Brian right. Yenis, uh, thank you again for joining us here on Live Now from Fox Rate Reporting as always. Thanks, Andy. All right, thank you so much.